all right guys welcome to the channel uh today i'm going to do all the video game pickups for january i know it's not quite the end of the month but this is all i'm going to be buying for this month that is plenty as you will see so i just thought i'd share it with you guys like i do every month um the first thing i want to address is somebody posted a comment on last month's videos uh just in regard to the types of games i pick up uh and that i didn't seem enthusiastic about it so i just kind of want to set the record straight on that situation i actually love picking up all video games just like the history of it i love looking at the box art i love collecting games adding it to the collection <clears throat> um so it's not that i'm not excited about games even if i don't have any attachment to them i also love going out video game hunting it's like super fun for me to go do that uh that being said you know i don't have anywhere near the success finding like cool stuff that other youtube channels i've watched do at yard sales or thrifting whatnot i don't know if it's the area i live in or what but for the most part i don't find those crazy deals i do find some cool stuff um otherwise it's like we stuff and everything so i do really enjoy picking it all up i'm sorry if it doesn't come across that way i think the reason why i brush past some of it quick is a to cut down on the length of the video as i've already rambled for so long now but b also too is i don't think that the games are as exciting to show off to everyone else so i kind of go through them quick so i'm sorry for that if it appears as though i'm not interested in the pickups i love collecting them and adding them to the collection and you know going and looking at them later i just I do that a lot so yeah i do enjoy picking up all the games so that being said let's get into this video First things I'll show, obviously, are just uh, kind of like the video game adjacent stuff I picked up, not games themselves. Uh, I did pick up a few Amiibo this month, which is cool because I haven't gotten too many, but I just walked in the store two days ago or something like that. I don't even know, day yesterday or two days ago, but they had Corrin, uh, the Player 2 version, and um, I don't have this one. This was the only one that I saw in the store. This is the only one I've ever actually seen in a store. It was actually at a GameStop that I don't normally go to. So, of course, I had to grab that right away. I just wanted to, of course, I I wanted to grab it right away. And then the other two were a bunch that I didn't, uh, you know, some guys I'm friends with on Discord through YouTube, a bunch of them pre-ordered these at Best Buy, and I never even considered pre-ordering Amiibos. But uh, I was, so then I'm like, in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm just not going to end up getting those, which is okay, I don't need to spend the money. I always say I don't need to spend the money, and then I do. But I uh, they have these at multiple stores, I found these. So this was the uh, Kazuya from Smash Brothers. I saw a ton of him everywhere. And then uh, the first day that this came out, I went into my local GameStop that I usually stop in at once a week. And this is the Seth Roth. And they had a ton of them that day. And then they were, I went back a couple days later and they were all gone. So I'm glad I decided to just grab it right away. Um, I will say the Seth Roth one, if you're thinking about Amiibos or whatnot, this is one of the best looking Amiibos I've ever seen it looks fantastic they really um you know put a ton of detail into the wings the sword looks great uh the paint looks really good on it <clears throat> uh some of the you know amiibos are not super exciting and some of them are you know really well done for how small the figure is this seth roth is one of them so yeah those are the three amiibo i'm just gonna put them down because i got a lot of stuff to show the only other thing um video game adjacent i got uh, for Christmas, I got an Amazon gift card, so I decided to get some of the uh, manga, Persona manga, that I was missing. So I ordered um, four of the Persona 3. Uh, and if you can't, you probably can't see my collection down here. So yeah, that's really horrible. Anyways, I ordered all these uh, and one game, which I will get to. Uh, to use up that card. W once I got these, I was only missing one more uh, volume of the Persona 3. So that was really going to really bother me. So I decided to search around for it, checked a smaller, a uh, couple of smaller bookseller sites, <clears throat> didn't find it anywhere, and then, um, you know, went to eBay. Of course, I went to eBay. I, uh, you know, went down a rabbit hole, got suggested a bunch of other, um, you know, similar books. But uh, uh, one of the ones I picked up was one of the Persona 4, 4 volumes. This was $9 free shipping, which I think that's less than it originally retailed for. So I don't know why it's so cheap, but for $9, I had to grab that. And then the other thing I saw found on eBay that was dirt cheap. This was 
13 or 13.99 either 13 or 14 but free shipping again and it was for the persona q uh shadow labyrinth uh volumes one and two the p side so i don't know if there's a p4 side see p side this is p3 side so i don't know i didn't even know that they made persona q into manga but i thought that was pretty cool to find those and they were really dirt cheap so after i picked all those up then Amazon sent me a notification like, hey, we got this in stock. Of course, it was twice as much as every other manga or in that series, but it's the last volume. It was volume nine that I was missing, but it was the last one. So I'm like, okay, well, here we go. Spend more money like a dum-dum. So anyways, I have all of the Persona 3 manga now, which makes me very happy. And then now we will get into video games. I am just going to start with, oh, this is going to be a huge disaster. I'm going to start with all the random ones I found uh, just through, you know, the Salvation Army, Goodwill, a uh, few Marketplace individual or one or two games. And I think, yeah, I got grabbed a couple of these actually from GameStop for from the sale. So I'll, I'll just go through all those. I My Wii section is very small this month. I think everyone will be happy. I only got three Wii games. And these were all from... Uh, one trip to Goodwill. They haven't had a lot of Wii and they didn't have a lot of PlayStation 2 games this month. So this is all I picked up. And these are all complete in box. That's why I grabbed them. Uh, Boogie, which I know nothing about. Wii Ski. And then the last one's kind of cool is the Tony Hawk Ride. Uh, obviously this doesn't have the board or anything. It's just a game, but I thought those were cool pickups. The Or Tony Hawk was. Then here are all the... Um, uh, Xbox? Wow. Couldn't think of that word. That's bad. I just woke up from a nap right before doing this. These were all from thrifting, from Goodwill or, uh, you know, place like that. Nothing else was online, and I was honestly kind of shocked at how good some of these titles are. Uh, the only Xbox One game I got was Watch Dogs Legions, and then, uh, Rocksmith, um, 200, or 200, 2014 edition. The only reason I grabbed this, I thought it was kind of cool, is it has like the, a bunch of the, all the original inserts, like st stickers and stuff like that. So I just thought that was cool. Like how often are you going to find those stickers, um, like to put on the instrument or whatever. And this was only like three bucks. All their Xbox games were cheap. So here's another one. Number one hits lips. And it's just like a karaoke game. The cover uh, looked interesting. So I looked it up online because that's not what i would normally buy and uh i think it sells for like seven to ten dollars and it was you know three dollar two or three dollar game so i figured why not hardfield uh battle line and then the, these last three i just thought were awesome uh at the same time i went there they had fable two and three they're both complete in box you know it's sad that these are the same price as as lips <laughs> but Xbox games, the 360s, when you find them at their, those Goodwills, are always either $1.99 or $2.99. I can't decide how why they or how they figure out which is which. Whatever. But uh, to get those is the same price. It feels like almost an injustice, but I got, I got them regardless. And then this is pretty cool. The same thing. It's $2.99 game. It's Resident Evil 5 for the uh, Xbox. And then all these two. I, I, I won't buy Xbox games unless they're complete because I don't specifically look for xbox or seek those out I, I just if i come across them randomly and they're complete i figure why not but yeah this one's complete and the manual is really nice shape so how can you turn down a resident evil game for three bucks my answer is you can't okay the only psp game i found which i can't believe i found a psp game was up i actually thought this was the movie which i was going to buy for uh someone else that i'm giving him a stack of the UMD movies soon. So I thought this would be cool to add because it was like dirt cheap again, under $5. Uh, so I grabbed it and I got home. I'm like, oh, this isn't a movie. This is an actual game. So I don't know anything about it. I do love the heck out of this movie. I could still watch this movie uh, today, even without my kids. I'd be like, yeah, I'll watch up. So I don't know about the game at all. I don't know if it's any good, but I thought it was cool to get a PSP game. Here was my sole um, PS5 game. And I got this with another one. I can't remember which one, but it was one of the PS4 games. This is from GameStop, but I got it for 7 or $8. And it's uh, Dolman. I don't know much about it, 
But for that price, I figured it'd be worth it just to uh, either add to the collection, but just one day when I'm bored, rainy day, throw it in and check it out, see if it's any good. It's I like finding games that I haven't heard too much about, so I don't have an impression going in. And the cover looks cool. That doesn't mean anything, I know. PS4, I did pretty good this month. Uh, some of these were from that uh, GameStop. Let's see, what were they? If the game was $9.99 or less, and it was pre-owned, you, uh, you got four of them for $20. So $5 a piece, not bad. Uh, I know this first one was one of those, Shadow Tactics. That looked cool. This one, I, you, everyone's heard about. I've heard about, I don't necessarily have a desire to play it, which is weird, because it's a turn-based game. But who knows, maybe someday I'll give it a shot. It's the South Park, the Fractured But Whole. We'll see. Uh, Star Wars Squadrons. Here's one uh, that I would like to play eventually because I liked the last one before this, but I heard bad things about this. Like, not that it was a horrible game, just mixed and it wasn't as good as the previous. But anyways, it's the Wolfenstein Youngblood. This is the deluxe edition. So I thought that was a cool pickup. Hopefully someday I'll have time. And then this is the one that I picked up with the uh, PS5 game. This is uh, Kingdoms Amalar Re-Reckoning, the Re-Reckoning. So once again, this one and that Dolmen, the PS5, I got both games for $15. One was 7 and one was 8 I don't remember which was which. doesn't really matter. Those two games for 15 bucks was pretty cool. And then the last uh, PS4 game I got was actually uh, from Goodwill, which was cool. And it, this one was more expensive. It was like 6 bucks, But it's the Steelbook for uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This is actually the first Call of Duty game that I ever skipped completely and I just didn't play because... I was not super interested, but yeah, it's the, you know, complete game with, it's got the inserts. So with the steelbook, I mean, man, somebody moved out of their house and their parents donated this. That's what happened. So yeah, pretty cool with the PS4. I think solid, uh, solid titles in that, uh, on that front. Then I actually got some PS3 games. Uh, this was 2014 World Cup Brazil. The only reason I picked this game up is because I just love that color uh, cover. It's so colorful. I just thought it looked really cool and <laughs> dirt cheap. I don't know if I'd ever play a FIFA game or not, but uh, that's uh, I thought it was a very pretty cover. Here's Marvel Super Heroes. Once again, like PS3 is weird because I think that's this is the generation where a lot of games just stop. They stopped doing manuals, but a lot of companies, distributors, some of them still did. So this is one that has a manual. I still prefer games that have a manual. I don't know. I'm going to check out Brazil. Oh, yeah, Brazil does, but it's like a black and white one. That's fine. No big deal there. But it had one. Here's a Guitar Hero World Tour. This one has a manual, too. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good on those. And then this one I actually did buy. I think this is one of my only um, eBay buys. A couple of the PS2 games. But this one I was seeking out. This is another Atlas title. I'm slowly working towards building up, um, you know, uh, more of just games just with distributed or made by Atlas. This is the Curse Crusade, and it is complete as well. Very clean copy, so yeah, super happy. Not a lot of PS3 stuff, um, just four games, but once again, just like the PS4 quality title, so I'm excited to add those. And then let's see, here are the uh, PS2s. Now, when I started off the video, I did say how I strike out a lot at, um, when I go thrifting. I usually try to hit it one, at least one store once a week just to check things out. One of my trips, this was the only game I found that was even mildly interesting. Uh, and this was my only pickup that whole day. I almost slept it, but I'm like, how? when am I going to find this game for three bucks again? It's the iToy Play. Yeah, it's super, super lame. But they had it sitting there, and it's, it is complete, and the manual looks like really clean shape, so I bought it. Yeah. Uh, here are World Tour Soccer 2006 and 2003. Both of these games I found at uh, two different stores. Neither one had the manual. And then uh, I looked online before I left the store, and I found both manuals on eBay for like 2 or $3 a piece, free shipping, so... Thank God there's still some reasonable sellers out there that know people are just trying to complete games or whatnot. So more than I would want to pay for a PS2 game, like especially a game like this that I won't play because they were still like $2 a piece at the store, two or three, and then $2 for a manual. So it would have been cheaper if it just had the manual, but I wanted to complete them. So had to do that. 
Then, let's see. I'm going to do this one because these two I did buy in a lot together off of eBay. Uh, decent deal. This was the most I spent this month on, like, PlayStation 2 or, like, individual games. But um, still, like, I got it for combined less than half of retail. So that was pretty good. The first one is Siren. And I haven't cleaned this one up all the way yet. I, I uh, clean all the stickers off unless they're, like, really cool retro video game stores or rental stickers that are neat. But, like, these, like, crappy type ones, I always, like, uh, clean these off before I put them on the shelf. And I catalog them, too. But the last one was Magna Carta. This is one I've been looking for for a while. Uh, Tears of Blood. Uh, another Atlas game, which is awesome. And, a, like, a cool uh, RPG. Also, look at that art, cover art in the back, too. It looks there. It just looks really good. And, obviously, these are... I wouldn't have bought them if off of eBay if they weren't complete. But those are two, like, really good titles for the PS2. And then the rest... Our games I got super lucky finding out in the wild off of uh, uh, Facebook Marketplace sellers. I think a couple of these I actually found at a thrift store. I don't remember which one because I picked up a lot. But anyways, Grand Theft Auto uh, San Andreas. This uh, is complete and it has... Uh, so it's got the manual and it's got the big poster. So I thought that was awesome. Uh, this was one of the... Um, uh, well, I'll get to that later. Anyways, that's, that's a cool copy to find all that stuff in it. Sweet in 4, which is another banger of a title. Here's Return to Castle Wolfenstein, which is awesome because it's apparently Wolfenstein theme month. This one is, I don't know, it's a Dynasty Warriors game, which I'm not super, I'm not super excited about. But I found this off of uh, Facebook Marketplace for dirt cheap. Uh, this is Gun uh, <sighs> Fantasy Warriors Gundam 2. So, I mean, I think that's pretty cool. Um... The graphics look a little chunky. It is PS2 to have big mechs fighting, but I will try that out someday. And then this last one's probably stupid. It's probably a horrible game. But man, in college, me and my roommates would sit around and watch this show forever. So just looking at this cover makes me smile. Um, it's American Chopper. So I don't know if I'll ever even play this alone. Maybe if someday if like one of my friends comes over and sees it, we'll like futz around with it. But yeah, I, I used to love that show. That was like our, you know, one of our go-to shows back, way back in college. So that was pretty cool. Uh, okay, I'm running out of space. So my uh, one uh, X, uh, Sega Genesis game that I got for the month. My goal, guys, every month as I try to just get at least one Sega Genesis game complete in box, just to add to my Sega Genesis collection. It is a system I love dearly. It's one of my favorites. So I'm just trying to find a game now i spent a ton of money on other stuff uh and even though i start looking for a sega genesis game early on uh it's usually not a huge priority and by the time i'd spent so much else i just wanted to get a cheap game so it's not super exciting this month but it's just tony la Russa baseball i don't know it's a big chunky box and it is um it has like a ton of ton of the insert stuff like um first of all that's like a real thick um manual for Sega Genesis, but it's cool because it has, has all these cards, like stat cards for like a bunch of the teams. Like there's a ton of them. So yeah, not a super exciting game, but it's ultra complete, complete in box. It's got everything. So I was, you know, I'm like, okay, I'll grab it. I think I paid, uh, including shipping off of eBay and everything like that. It was only like $8. So not expensive, um, not the most exciting title, at least to show off this month, but, um, God, I can't even get it in right now. I will <laughs> work on that later. But yeah, I'm, a, I'm happy to add it, especially when you get all the inserts like that. That's cool. Okay, I do have a couple more stacks of games, but I want to show something else off I got from Facebook Marketplace. This was probably the thing overall because i did get i feel like i stepped up the quality of games this month but this pickup was awesome this was one of those ones where i can actually tell a story and it's not made up it's an actual story but and it sounds like you know a good story anyways uh this lady had listed on facebook marketplace uh ps1 for 40 bucks 40 bucks and it was in a little box and it had all the cords couple controllers and she said a, a couple of video games couldn't really tell what it was so um 
I reached out to her and she's like, yeah, um, I think she, what did, I can't remember how she phrased it, but it sounded like a deal had fallen through. So she was, you know, it was like backup. I'm like, okay, I could come tomorrow after work. She said that was fine. Very easy to talk to. Um, so I went to pick up the PlayStation. It's a very basic PlayStation. I already have one. I did see these two memory cards in the slot, so I haven't checked them out yet, but I'm going to sell the PlayStation with the power cord. Um, cause I don't need another one. I have my original PlayStation that still works perfect. And I have a PlayStation one, uh, what do you call it? Like the slim or mi mini, whatever it is, that little tiny one. Um, so I figure if I sell this, I could make it back at least half of what I paid for the 40, you know, the 40, I'm sure I can sell a PlayStation one for 20 bucks. The cards, memory cards, I'm going to check out. I already have a bunch of them, so I might sell those with it and add, like, a couple more bucks onto the listing. So, I wasn't necessarily, like, super, like, excited about the, the PlayStation itself, but it did come with a couple controllers. And, by the way, this all this stuff was in a box in our garage, so it was a little dusty. I already cleaned everything as much as I can. Let's just say I put a lot more effort into cleaning it than DK Oldies did any of their stuff. It's all pretty clean in, inside and out. But it, even the controllers, I clean these uh, really well, so they look brand new. But this is just like, a, you know, the normal gray controller. And then this is one I was excited about because I didn't have this color, but it's just like a, like a almost see-through green color. Uh, so that was cool. I'm going to definitely keep this one in my collection because I have a blue one and I've got a bunch of the original, just that gray color. So I don't need it. But then it also had this, which I thought was pretty cool. I've added a couple unique controllers to my collection recently. And this is like a racing steer steering wheel type thing up here. Um, it's in really good shape. There's some like colorization uh, down at the bottom, but it's an old controller that doesn't do any damage. It just looks, the color looks a little off, but I looked up, these aren't super expensive. So I'd rather just keep it as, you know, a cool piece of my collection than sell it for, I think maybe $15 you could get if that. So yeah, definitely keeping that one. That was very cool. And then look, and then the, the game she, uh, that she had, I was kind of disappointed when I saw them because I was hoping that there'd be something in there in the lot. I couldn't tell from the picture she had posted, but it's, uh, you don't know Jack. I don't have it. So fine. I'll add it. Las Vegas games, 2000 once again. Okay, fine. The next two, they must be racing people. It's NASCAR 99 and 2000. Uh, they, these are all in really good shape. Even the jewel cases for PS1 are in good shape because a lot of times those break up. But this last one's actually pretty cool. It's Gran Turismo 2, um, and it's still sealed in the original uh, shrink wrap because it has the like label up here. So yeah, a brand new uh, Gran Turismo 2. I looked this up. I think these are selling over fifty dollars. So I don't know if I'd want to if I want to keep this or not. But if I decide to sell it, I think I can make all my money back the forty bucks just for this. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm not keeping all this for sure. But it was a cool find on Facebook because that doesn't happen very often. So on top of that, uh, what I've learned to do from other YouTube channels I watch is ask when you're there, hey, do you have anything else for sale? And this lady, uh, while I was there, goes, well, yeah, actually, I have this Atari that um, somebody was going to buy and then just never showed up. She's like, we had it listed for $250. I was like, oh, $250 for an Atari. So I didn't say anything. She's like, but I'll sell it to you for $200. And even $200 for an Atari is very steep. Uh, if you don't know, or maybe you disagree with that or have a different impression. I think $200 for an old, old system like that, as cool as it is, is really, you know, it's pushing the limits. But then she pulled everything out and showed me. And as you can see, I bought it from her. But it's not a $2,600. This is, here, let me take this off. This is uh, 5,600, or 5,200, sorry. It's, um, they, she had the original dust cover, and this is like in super good shape, if you can tell on there. She And she didn't have this on the system. She had it sitting next to the system in a box in the garage. So whatever, I super clean the system anyways, but I mean, this thing, like, look how clean this looks. It's like, I don't even know how much they used it. But uh, I clean it all up just like, I mean, by cleaning it, I mean dusting and everything. And uh, wiping it down with some uh, isopropyl alcohol. But, man, it is, like, minty clean. And it also, uh, 
came with a couple of different cords. I need to buy one more, I think one more adapter piece to connect it to an old CRT TV, which is something I will work on soon. Um, but yeah, haven't done that yet. But that, so that alone, obviously not worth even $200. I wouldn't have bought it. The reason I decided to pick up the deal is she showed me everything that came with it. And ugh, inside this box is just some awesome stuff. Here is a complete in box uh, blueprint. And then there are some loose games. Sorry, this is going to take a second. This is, it's not that I didn't organize this stuff. There's just like a ton in here. So it's got just a, a variety of loose games. A couple of these are actually doubles of the games that are in the box, but just so much cool stuff. Um, when I say cool, I mean, it's just like the artwork with these and everything is just awesome. So here's the instruction manual for Joust, for instance, and it's just like a open one way and then the other. And then I just wanted to show this off. Like, look how cool this is. It's a freaking guy on an armored ostrich. I don't know. I just think that's awesome. You look at that and you're like, you think about like chocobos and you're like, this is way cooler, man. This is an ostrich in armor. I don't know. I just think it looks awesome. I looked through all this stuff for quite a while. And it is just super fun to look at. Very nostalgic. So there's like a bunch of extra manuals in here. Like there's a Pac-Man, Atari football, sports. Here's like some of the original manuals for the actual system owner's manuals like i mean super cool then it, complete in box games like frogger and these boxes are cardboard but they're super nice shape i am going to buy some of those plastic inserts for these because it's already so old i don't want them to get more torn up uh here's cubert it's got to be one of the first editions of cubert and then uh so the game some of these games on the tops are cut off or uh you know damaged from being open but the rest of these boxes are just like phenomenal you got like Centipede here. This is complete. All these games have like the game and the manual. Uh, Pango, which I don't know anything about. I did look all, all these games up. Even complete, none of them are worth very much. They're all like $10 a piece or whatever. But I adding all the stuff up, I definitely got the $200 worth. Here's uh, Kangaroo. Just like, I mean, ugh, the this, this stuff is so cool. So I, I'm not old enough where I ever had an Atari new uh, my first new system was the Nintendo as a kid. Uh, but, you know, you always had, like, uncles or somebody else that had Atari. So I played these a ton growing up. Uh, Super Breakout, that's an awesome game. Star Raiders, I don't know anything about that. But I'm assuming it's like a, like a shooter, like Asteroid style. Like this Defender, I do know. That's awesome. And then these last couple, a little rougher, but here's another copy of Pac-Man with the box. Uh, kicks and then uh galaxin this box is a little rough but that's okay it's very cool still so yeah i mean how awesome is that it came with two of the controllers that look like this i did super clean them up as you can tell i mean look how nice they are when they were clean uh are, they feel great <laughs> they the buttons are like that old rubber oh my god i love it it's just it was so much fun even just cleaning this stuff up and just like Looking through it, man, I had a blast. I was so happy I, I did get it. I had a rough time spending $300 or $200 on it because I'm really trying to save. I'm going to the uh, Midwest Video Game Classic with some buddies in a couple months. So I was trying to save money for that, but I couldn't turn the, down the steel. This was like between this and the, you know, all the PlayStation stuff I got from that lady. It was, it was too good for me to pass up. So I have no regrets. I'm super glad I grabbed all that from her. We put all this down. Oh, okay. Okay, great. The last couple of games I have to show, guys, and then this will be over because, man, it's getting hella long. I always feel bad. I feel like I have such a good time doing this, and then uh, they're really long. I'm like, nobody's going to watch these till the end. Anyways, Facebook Marketplace deal. I got all five of these for $15. So it was $3 a piece per game. For the games that they are, I feel like quality, I got a good deal. This is 2002 World of Outlaw Sprint Cars. Don't know anything about that one. Uh, NASCAR 08. Uh, once, okay, fine. But then these last three are the ones that I would actually put in and play. Tony Hawk Project 8. So another Tony Hawk game. I was super happy to get that. And Tony Hawk's uh, American Wasteland. Both. So those, those alone, I feel like I'm almost getting my $15 value. 
And then in uh, Need for Speed, I didn't have the most wanted game for the PS2. Which is funny that I got this because I'm, when I show you my next stack, it's gonna, um, it'll make more sense. So, this other guy that I uh, found on Facebook Marketplace had a bunch of uh, PS2 games. And I, uh, if this is the first pickups video you've watched in mine, I'm very slowly working towards a complete PS2 library. That's super hard to do. There's over 1,800 games. It will take me years. Hopefully, I keep this YouTube channel going for 10 more years so I can reach the end of that. But he had this deck for... Um, Listed on, on Facebook, he's like, shoot me a number, we'll, we'll, uh, whatever. So he had a huge stack of games. I sent him a list. I'm like, hey, look through all those games, all these games and tell me which ones are complete that have the manual. So he did that. And I'm like, okay, so what, what are you looking for price-wise? And I priced it in my, out in my head what I was willing to pay for it. And he right away sent me back a, a number. He said 40 bucks. I was like, Pfft. I was I was hoping that he would come in at 80 even. But uh, he said 40 right away. I'm like, deal, let's go. So we he didn't want to meet at his house. Uh, totally fine with that. You know, Facebook Marketplace, it's always safe uh, or smart to be safe and be careful. So we're going to meet at a gas station. But he's like, hey, he's like, hey, I've got some other games, some Xbox and stuff. I don't know if you're interested in. I'm like, oh, I could be. I'm like, do you mind just bringing it? I know it's a lot to do to pack up if we're not going to your house, but do you mind bringing it to the gas station? He's like, yeah, no problem. I'll throw it in my trunk. So the first thing he did, I wanted to get the PlayStation 2 deal done first because for 40 bucks, this is what I got right here. I got Breath of Fire. Oh, by the way, all complete. These all have the manual. Uh, Breath of Fire Dragon's Quarter. Not super expensive, but awesome to add. Champions Return to Arms. This alone, I think, was worth the $40. Here's Fisherman's Bass Club. Obviously the highlight of this pickup. Here's Katamari da uh, da I can't ever say that. Damacy. So I have the Switch version, but I, this is the, you know, original PS2, so super excited about that. And then, two trilogy sets. Uh, the Grand Theft Auto, and, um, you know, I showed one that I found earlier, but I bought that before I found this deal. But in one of them, let me see which one. They're all complete, obviously. That's, you know, part of it. The Grand Theft Auto 3 is still um, sealed, so you never even open that one. And then in the San Andreas, <laughs> he included... Like this huge uh, thing of all these like cheat codes and stuff that he, I don't even know how old this paper is, but it's got just like pages and pages of cheat codes. He's like, yeah, keep it. I'm like, all right, sounds good. So yeah, all the Grand Theft Auto and then the Hitman trilogy. Also all three of these games complete in box. So all that for $40, I felt like was a steal. He seemed very happy to get rid of it. So who was I to say no? So I got all that. The, the, then he pulled out his, uh, we, so we finalized that deal. I took the games, I gave him the 40 bucks. Then he pulls out the uh, Xbox games. And I look through and I make a stack. Uh, and I'm like, okay, some of these are like bangers, right? But I'm like, he's not going to offer me a good price. And I don't want to spend a ton on uh, Xbox games, right? So I pull these out and he's like, how about another 40? Sold. Because as excited as I was about the PlayStation 2 games, I feel like these are even better. So, another stack here. This is what I got for 40 bucks. The only original Xbox game was Halo 2, which I didn't have. Here's Brink. I don't know anything about it, but it was complete. Two Dragon Age games, uh, The Origins and The um, Origins Awakening. So, that was cool. This one was is one of the very few Xbox games that I've actually been searching for. I, you know, look for a good price on eBay. I'm always looking for it when I go into like an actual pawn shop that has like a video game section. Just always looking for this. I've, I've watched videos about it on YouTube. I was very interested and I was so pumped that he had it just sitting there uh, and that it was for such a good deal for these games. But that's Lost Odyssey. I really wanted this game. And this is, uh, you know, complete. It's got the manual. It's got this too. It's got all the stuff right here. It's got a big D and the permanent marker up top. I don't know why. So I was very excited to get that. Once again, even on eBay, it's not super, super expensive, but it's not a game I needed right away. So I was just looking for a deal. And then this game, I thought this was going to be the highlight. When he's had it in the box, I'm like, this alone, like he's going to charge like a ton of money, right? And then he threw out the $40 number. So I was super pumped to get it. It's the Silent Hill Downpour. 
This is actually the first Silent Hill game I own. I don't have any other Silent Hill games in this basin, but that was cool. And it's uh, complete. It's got the little manual. The manual's not big, but it's got it, so that's cool. I thought this was the most expensive game, so I thought that's what I was going to end it on, but no. I looked up prices, and I had to, like, check this, like, three times to make sure I wasn't losing my mind or looking at something wrong, because the most expensive game that I got out of this lot was the Need for Speed Most Wanted on the Xbox. And I just got this. I just showed it on uh, the PS2 uh, that I got for $3. So I don't know why this game's so much more expensive on the Xbox. That's, like, never the case. But, yeah, I got it. So I, I forget what, exactly what this the cost of this one was. But if Silent Hill Downpour was a $30 game, I think Need for Speed Most Wanted for whatever reason. This was, like, I'm going to say it wrong. I wrote it down somewhere. I don't have a piece of paper with me because I obviously am not professional enough to do that. But I think it was like a forty or fifty dollar game, which is just blows my mind for a three sixty game. But phenomenal deal. So for eighty dollars total from that guy, I think the value of all the games I added up as well. Um, you know what? I have it on piece of paper. I will put it right here in the video. Uh, what I you know for the eighty dollars I spent, the, what the value of these games are currently, and obviously value is very subjective. It's what will, people are willing to pay. But I got I I done good on the deal. Is what happened. So yeah, that's that. Very last section, uh, and then I will let you guys go if you're still here. Uh, it's my Nintendo pickups besides the Wii, which I know you guys are most people aren't excited about. Walked into a GameStop right after Christmas, a different GameStop than my normal one, a few towns over, and they had a uh, Pokemon Sun in the box. It doesn't have like a real manual, but it's got a couple inserts, but they had all the inserts with the game 23 bucks. So they had the other one that goes with this moon for the same price. My son bought that one, and I'm like, you know what, I'll buy the other one then so that we have them both, and that way if my other son wants to play with them, he can just grab this and they can do whatever. They're they're playing the, um, what are the new ones, Violet and Scarlet right now on their Switches, but they go back to the DSs all the time and play these. So I picked that up. Here's the game that I picked up alongside all the manga off of Amazon. This is the game I, even before I look for manga, I add this to my cart right away. I'm like, I know I'm getting this with this gift card, but uh, it's Cuphead. Super excited to play this. Haven't opened it yet. I just wish the sticker that said it include the DLC was actually on the uh, the box, Not, it's, but it's on the cellophane, which is a bummer. So I think I'm going to actually try to cut that out and leave it on the inside of the box, but... Yeah, very excited for this one. I'm going to be terrible at it. I'm sure I'll never beat it, but I had to buy that one. Then I got uh, finally got Shredder's Revenge from GameStop. It was came. They finally got it three months after it came out on every platform. I've walked into Best Buys and seen it sitting on the shelf. And like every time I go to my GameStop, they're like, oh, we still don't have it yet. So they told me one day that it was just canceled. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go just buy it somewhere else finally because I want to play with my kids. They called me the next day and said that it, they got it. It went from being canceled to it's in the store. So I went to pick it up, and they said because it took so long, and uh, they like it was their screw up. They gave me a five dollar discount on the game, which is cool. I'll take that. So yeah, got Shredder's Revenge. We just started playing this. It is hella fun. If you like classic beat 'em ups, give this a shot. I don't even know if I can say classic because there's like different moves and stuff you can do. It's much more involved than like a traditional beat 'em up game. Uh, it's much more aligned with like River City Girls where there's like combos and special moves and stuff you can do, but awesome game. Awesome, awesome game. And then the last one I bought, this is the only one I think I bought. Uh, just walking into the store, paid full retail price this month, but um, I got, I have the first one. I really like it. Uh, so I just, I, this was the only one they had and I'm like, okay, I'll get it now <laughs> before it's gone, uh, is Dust Diver 2. It's a, it's a fun game. I haven't, I don't know anything about this one, but I'm sure they all they had to do is improve on the first one, right? The mechanics? I don't know. Hopefully that's what they did. But anyways, yeah, that was my last pickup. Okay, that's it. That's everything. That's a ton of stuff, you guys. Uh, I'm super excited for it all. Thank you so much if you watch this whole thing. Or if you just watch part of it, part of it I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, hopefully my pickups for the next couple months are smaller because I really got to save money for the uh, video game classic. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Have a good day. I'll see you next time.